in less than 17 here we're going to go ahead and texture our tires and I'm only going to UV map one because I don't want to have to UV map all of them since it's the same model that I've simply duplicated so I'm going to select the outer faces select the inner faces and I'm going to planar project a UV map in the X direction as you can see here from the tool it's just in the X direction and then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and select all of the interfaces and the top faces here and use a cylindrical mapping technique and grabbing the red portion of that tool so that I can map all the way around the object and then replacing it and I'm going to go here <coughs> go ahead here into the UV editor I'm just selecting the shell of the, of the tire to move it out of the way I'm scaling up the main portion there of the tire and I definitely going to go into the hyper shade editor to apply a checker texture to this model so I can check to make sure that our UVs are going to be laid out properly as you can see there's two real separated parts but that's okay if we use a tileable texture we'll be able to minimize the UV seams just adjusting the, the UV spaces there so that I can get the UVs laid out properly now that I have our UV laid out for our tire I'm not gonna have two different tires like this since the texture is basically gonna be the same on both sides I can just leave those in the in the same general area so it'll make us easier make it easier for us to go ahead and actually texture our tire and it's purple or slash red like that because I have the one face is overlaying the other ones and I definitely have to go ahead and move the inside portion of the tire there so that it's going to be easier for us to texture the inside versus the outside portion of the tire because the outside portion of the tire is going to get a very specific pattern overlay onto it And like I said, I don't want it like to have two different sides of the tire. I basically want one side there so that I only have to texture the one side and it's going to be the same on both sides. So now I'm going to go ahead and export our UV map for our tire. I'm just exporting this to my desktop. and I'm going to go ahead and bake out our base texture and I'll just go ahead and apply this blend to the to the model here and making sure that I apply a, a JPEG file for the color making sure to turn the filter type to be off and we'll just use our tire base texture and I 
I just have to up, um, adjust the repeat limits here, making sure to turn on the mirror U in the mirror V direction so that it's going to be tileable. Or it's going to do its best to create tileable texture. And I'm just going to use the convert file to texture tool here inside the Maya Hypershade. And I'll just hit convert and close. Making sure that the X and Y resolution are um, the same as our UV map that we exported. And this just takes a little bit of time to go ahead and bake out depending on how detailed your texture and how big your UV maps are. And there you can see that it's baked out. and deleting the unused shading network there. So now I'm going to go here <coughs> make sure that I save the scene. I'll go into Photoshop here now so that we can go ahead and texture our tire. Bringing in the UV and I'm going to overlay it on the, the base texture that we baked out. and that image bakes out into the source image folder of your current project or your set project and now I have to go ahead and grab our tire texture here for our treads and I'll just drag that onto the the UV, ed the UV there and I'm just double checking here to make sure which one's going to be the outside portion of the tire versus the inside portion there and I'll just go ahead and adjust this as I need to fit the texture in the UV map and I'm just alt dragging to go ahead and repeat this since it's a tileable texture and I'll do that for the entire portion there and then I'll just select all the layers hit control E to merge them and I'll scale it down a little more to make sure that it's going to fit properly making sure I do this on the bottom and on the top as well and I just have to play with the adjustment layer so that it fits right and I'll have to adjust the brightness and the contrast here a little bit And this is all just personal preference to try to match it as best as I can. And now I'm going to go ahead and make the white walls for our tire, making sure to create a new layer. And I'll just draw out where I want the <coughs> white wall portion of our tire. and I'll simply just fill the layer with a white material and I'm just going to delete the excess off here by using the polygon lasso tool that I can simply just draw out and I'll just delete the excess off there and you can see that this is a little bit edgy and so I'm gonna have to go back into Maya here to make sure that whenever we smooth our model we get a smooth texture layout and 
and I'll just I'm just right now adjusting the color to make sure that it's gonna fit onto the the mesh properly and onto the texture m properly. Making sure to always save a PSD file so that I can edit that later if needed. And then I'll save out our JPEG as well under the same name. And I'll go ahead and use that to apply to the model. Create a new V-Ray material for our tire here. Simply just plug in the, the JPEG for our Keller. It just takes a little bit to update there. Go ahead and apply that to our model. And you can see that it's a little edgy, the white part of it. And so I need to go ahead and smooth the, smooth the tire so that we can get a better layout of our white wall. and I'll just go into the modify tab convert smooth mesh to polygon smooth that again and I'll just have to redraw it out so I can texture it properly and I'm just going to export out this smooth UV since we didn't really need to edit the UVs I can just simply just export this out and replace the old UV and that's okay it's a simple mistake I made go ahead and delete the old UV here. Now that we have our new UV placed there I can just go ahead and adjust this white wall part of the tire a little better and this is just going to take a little bit of time to go ahead and draw this out of where we're going to fill it. And I'm just using the polygon lasso tool to draw this out and just trying to be careful that I follow the, the UV line properly and I'm just trying to intersect it at the at the same points on the UV mesh here Now that I have that drawn out, I can just simply go ahead and refill that layer with white. And there you can see we have our white wall. Go ahead and save our JPEG and our PSD so that I can edit it later if needed. I'll just simply go ahead and reload the texture or refresh the texture. And there you can see it updates. And now it's a lot smoother. So now we can just go ahead and transfer the UV map from one tar to the other. Since they're all 
gonna be the same polygon count here. And I just need to make sure that I adjust the the tire here because it looks like it's pinching through on our our rim a little bit. Making sure that I center the pivot, clear the history, and freeze the transformations there. And now I need to go ahead and smooth all these other tires so that the UVs, um, UV count or the poly count matches properly. I'm just going to double check here. It's, as you can see, 3872 or 3072. And just go into the transfer attributes tab. And make sure you select the component mode. Select the main UV map object to the child and there it matches the UVs and we simply are just going to repeat this tool for the other side and then we'll just clear the history, freeze the transformations and center the pivot on those so that you can delete those nodes off of the model because we won't need them and there you can see that our UVs now match properly and I'm just going to adjust the, the shader here a little bit and the tire I want to make at least a little bit reflective and you can see that the, uh, the passenger side tires don't match properly or they just didn't transfer right so I'm just going to go ahead and delete those and just duplicate the one side and just move them over and sometimes Maya has an error like that and that's okay and now I just need to go ahead and place them in position properly and there you go there are our tires textured and I just have to re reverse the normals here and there we go our tires are done